Hello, this is Mike Lively, and this is the last video of a three-part series of bringing Carlotta into a Way 3D or Paper Vision and controlling it with Jiglib. And in the first video, we showed you how to make this beautiful cube here in uh, Cinema 4D. Let's go ahead and render it. Control R renders the cube. It's just lovely, and you know, whenever you make something, uh, you're always so proud of it. So let me get out of this, and we'll move on to the next thing. We went to a Way 3D, and we actually ran a program, and we brought this uh, particular. Uh, die into uh, an Away 3D project and we brought this die into a, a Way 3D uh, project and all of this is being controlled in Flash 10 and so you can look at these dies right here and they have these beautiful beveled edges on them so they just look great and we made the point that in order to do this you had to go through pretty much of a multi-step process in Away 3D but it's not too bad you had to get your Carlotta object you had to parse its geometry. You had to put the materials on the sides uh, by name. And you had to make sure that you took that model and you used it as a skin and brought it in a sense to JBox and turned it into a rigid body. You turned on the rigid body physics, you rendered it to the stage, and then you pushed it into a dice as array so you could have multiple die and control those on the screen. So looks like a football game, right? So now let's talk about today is actually bringing this Colada stuff into uh, paper vision. So we're not going to go through the entire uh, controlling it with Carlotta because it's pretty much the same thing and as opposed to a as opposed to a Way 3D mesh, you use a PV3D mesh. So that's all the difference is. What we're going to cover today is how actually bringing this Carlotta model into PV3D. So let's go ahead and bring up a file here. And it's a little football game I've been working on. And what you want to do is make sure that you bring in your Carlotta file and we're going to call this die DAE. And once you've done that, we're going to come along here and bring in our image assets. And once again, I'm just going to throw that as a text file into my assets folder. So let's go ahead and open up the DAE file first and just talk about it a little bit. So I'm opening up the DAE file. And when I bring this here, one thing that I did do is actually change my references. I was originally just referencing the text file. I actually put it in the assets folder. But that didn't help me much. That's not what uh, PB3D wants to see. So let's go back and see what it wants to see. So what I want to do is I want to bring this die or cube into my paper vision project. So I've created a little method here that runs after the application tag is fired. So let's go ahead and roll over and control click that. And here's my initiation cube. And this is so much easier than what is done in a way 3D. Now why is it easier? Because there's a lot of code underneath that handles all the stuff that we have uh, had to do in a way 3D. So you need to encapsulate some of that way 3D code and create something simple like this. So the way this program works is that when the uh, application tag is initiated, it creates the initiation cube. And then you have to create your DAE. And then basically I'm going to add an event listener so when I load it, I know after it's been loaded. So right here I'm going to actually load my DAE file, which I call die. But what's important in paper vision, the key to getting this to work is to actually to show the path. So my cube.add file search path is asset slash text. So a lot of people have problems with Colada files when it comes to actually showing the images on the file. So for this particular example where you actually just throw images on polygons, you got to tell it the Collada file where those images are. And we're using it by using this add file search path. It's all encapsulated. It's an encapsulated method. Basically search through all your text files and brings them into your cube. I set my scale. I set my position my cube and I set my rotation. And so after all that is done, it says, hey, the file has been loaded. And after it's been loaded, what I do is just add it to the scene. And that's all there is into bringing a Collada file into paper vision. Extremely simple. And then I'm going to go back to control and jiggle it. I'm going to have to add that to a JBox. And that's been talked about in a previous video, but what we're going to be doing in the future is creating a number of paper vision games in jiggle. And we'll go over this process again in detail. But not just for images on texture, but also in UV mapping. Hey, let's run the code and see what we get. And there you can see my big old cube right there in the center of stage, brought right in as a Carlotta file. And now all I need to do is take that and throw it into a BV3D mesh and control it with Jiglib. And we'll be discussing that process quite a bit in future videos to come. So thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.